Hello everyone, this is your Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Telltale Campaign. We picked things up for episode 5 from turn 7 in the summer season of 201. So as we hop back into game, we have the destruction of Zhengjiang's faction that happened at the end of last episode. So we can demolish this and take the half cost for the instant rush to get 150. And then we want to swap this but this will take a turn so we can actually downgrade it for some money too can't we no money for us here oh maybe 600 it's not displaying but i know we, we get something because there's a we'll see if we get 600 that way it will be level one we convert there's only one level in our version of the temple anyways to give us a little bit of prestige give us a little bit of satisfaction always helpful we cancel Zhang now and we're probably going to use some other form of assignments. We're not going to do any more of the construction one. This army is fine. We we'll probably need some stronger cavalry. Um, they're all right. Um, not the strongest, but they will get the job done in terms of chasing down enemy range, which is pretty much what we want them to do, and also clean up in the you know later stages of the fight. I'm not entirely happy with the crossbowmen, but we're headed towards Onyx Dragons, so that will probably be the replacement. All right, so back to our armies. They are just going to hover over here for a little bit. Yuenha has escaped. Um, I don't know when he will come back. He might come back with a bigger army. Uh, it could be dangerous, but they're going to hang on over here. They moved. They moved. They haven't moved. But the thing is, I can't really get them. They have no siege weapon, right? Yes, they don't. Okay, so we are just going to go all the way here. If they attack that, that's fine. We don't get the full heal. If we march... Ah, this is even better. If we are fatigued, but they want to challenge us. I think we can take them with the garrison semi-healed. And with our units, even on tired from march, we should still be able to take them on. They're not in great shape either. So we're fine. The worst thing they can do is siege our capital, cut off our trade, hurt our economy for a turn. But we're going to accept that as a potential possibility here. Alright, so all the armies seems to have moved and we seem to have finished that part. Yes, we will form the siege next turn here. Alright, things look good. Let's take a look at our buildings. These will slowly stabilize. Okay, it just reached over 1 million here. I'll take this one. So Wang Lang is the one who needs levels. But Dong is not the place for him. We have somewhere else for him. Dong is also Luoyang maybe. Luoyang has some peasantry right now. 230. Yep. So Wang Lang can come here and farm. Collect taxes technically. That's what he's doing. Uh, not actually farming. Alright, we're not ranking this up. Yes, we're not ranking this up. Hmm. I'm, I'm not a fan of this building. But there is a lot of food here. I guess we will build it. Right, I'm looking for the downgrade here or Twin Tian. I guess Twin Tian. Get more seasonal deployment. Yeah, the harbor upgrade's still a little bit pricey for my taste. Because it's really just giving us food. Okay, we have extra money. We can probably summon extra armies. Because now with Gongdu out here, Gunan is ready to be taken. We do have this building going, so let's raise a new army here in Gu Shi. So, Zhang Liao is a possibility. Zhang He is also a possibility. Yan Liang is also. Yan Liang, Ventral, Zhao Yu. Oh, we got so many. So many new toys to play with. Now, who is going to be the strategist for this army? It could be Cheng Yu, who's a tad old. He might die. Or it could be Guo Tu. Guo Tu is rank 5. I'm leaning towards him. He's also slightly unhappy. That we don't want him to have lack of purpose build up. And maybe this will just be the Hebei army. 
Alright, who has reach? Uh, warriors of Ye. Okay, we'll keep those for collection sake. And this Yongnu Noble Cavalry. Okay, these we won't touch. I'm just gonna give him some siege weapons so we can take the battle easier. Hold on, who has the who has my general off the left right now? He got Earth Dragon. Xiao Yuan is he gonna hate us if we No, uh, he might. Hmm. Maybe take this first. Give him more instinct. Then we'll let him be general of the left. Oh, uh, it's on cooldown? We had to grab it. Hmm. This is a little bit awkward. I guess we don't need siege weapons since there is no defense here. So we'll just use this army to take this and the iron mine and the white belt gondu as well. Yeah, I think that's what we will do. The army is all done. We still have some spare change. And since we do have spare change, I guess this is the time to uh, level up Hene's uh, food deposit here. All right, we'll save some money for potential extractions, even though I don't think they have enough points right now. We don't have any available schemes. We are currently at 98. We said that we should name someone the enemy of the Hun so that we can attack them and get points for attacking them. Right now, Sun Tzu might beat the one because he's currently encroaching really far on Chendong. Chendong has only one piece of land left. But I don't have the energy to really fight Sun Tzu. I guess I could open up a second front. The northern front's pretty much over. Alright. Sun Tzu now is the enemy of the Han. And now I believe we will all gain points for attacking him. We can farm points from him. There we go. Duty to the Han, an enemy of the people. We will gain favor for three turns for destroying the faction. 25, that's really hard to do. But, uh, new goal. Alright, just making sure what item we had. Clay axe. Alright, we don't need that. Let's continue. Oh, interesting. We're getting the Jade... Girdle Decree. So this is the assassination plot that happened in the spring of 200, the first turn of the game. But they're delaying the event against us. So Liu Bei and Ma Teng have knowledge of this betrayal, surely plan to move against you. Well, we're technically at war with them. So if we ignore it, somehow we increase recruitment. So this is basically the... So historically speaking, this event happened. The Emperor... You know, uh, usually in the cases they would prick their finger and they would write in their own blood a letter or a decree here. And they slipped it out uh, by slipping this uh, cloth with the blood uh, letter in the girdle of Dong Cheng. And he brought it out and he gathered up men to prepare for assassination, uh, assassination attempt on Cao Cao's life. But it got discovered. And because it got discovered, Dong Cheng got killed. A bunch of officials got killed. Liu Bei escaped. To the Xu province, which is where we find him in the beginning, and that's why Cao Cao is attacking Liu Bei in the beginning. So uh, we obviously can't really kill the emperor for trying to kill us. We have to pretend it doesn't happen and uh, still keep him as our puppet and basically just make an example of uh, Dong Cheng and everyone else to show him, you know, who's really in charge here. So crush it, make money. See, like, the way it's designed in-game, 
What's the benefit of exposing the plot? Like, why do we want to artificially decrease our relationship with Mato and Obey? Like, clearly, this is the key here. I mean, even historically, let's say we do discover it, you would not want to expose it, right? It will only benefit people like Nobe and Matong to tell the world that the emperor used his own blood to write a letter to kill you because, you know, on the surface, you're trying to play this prime minister uh, who is loyal to the Han. So you would just make it hush-hush, I guess, and find some other excuse to punish the ones who try to kill you. There we go. I'll take the 10%. Thank you. It's a nice event, just the wrong year, and the reward is not, you know, clearly defined enough to make sense here. We'll get speed on him. He was our backup plan. We might not need him. Uh, once we get, you know, extra flexibility for the redeployment, we will probably be able to summon him and put him in a revolving army of burden officers. But for now, we're good here. He went for Shangdang's farmland. That is not a very good target to take. You can take it. I'm not even upgrading it. Anyways, they're free to do as they wish. And we're free to do as we wish. Alright, Gaogan's done. He can summon army in his... Gate pass, but if we siege it, I don't even think he can summon new armies. So he's going to start the siege. We have to build a siege weapon, so we're going to build one. And then we're going to swing Taran's army back and finish this up, and Gogan will be done. And then we can shift our attention entirely on Yuan Shao. Now we'll pop out. Red Stallion, General of the Standard. Now, we don't want to make him reinforce us because then that tells them there he's a spy. New agent, um, no one historical. This is one of those generals he picked up afterward. I want the assassination next turn. So we're gonna be a good boy this turn, do nothing. I'm going to shift some of those points, plus one defense for that. It's just mom, him, and uh, a random general. I mean... We're not interested in the mother. But if we do keep her, we can use her as marriage bait, because she would be a single ruling family female if we divorce. Hmm. Too much work. I could steal him. Just straight up steal him. He's he has useful bonuses. Maybe he'll land, you know, in the court in the future. Possibility. Uh, but for right now, really there's nothing going on here between us. They can't win this. Does he have enough points? We'll save some money, extract him. Oh, he's not he's not gaining enough points. Why no oh, he was one point. Hmm. Oh well. Might not be extraction then. He doesn't he has resiliency, okay, so he's not gonna die. I kinda want that Sunu Noble Cavalry. So I don't want him to die. I haven't even looked at West. It seems fine. I mean Matung doesn't even border us. He starts out very small. Dong Lu is being a good boy. Liu Bell has our vassal buffer. We want to attack this. The army's stranded here. That's good. They will run if we attack. And plus, I kind of want him to siege somewhere. I'm going to cut him off at the bridge. And see if he comes back to attack the farm. Meanwhile... You guys need one more turn. Mi Zhu. Yan Yong. Oh, Chen Deng's gonna get wiped. Yu Fan Han Dang. Chen Pu Zhang Hong Zhou Tai. 
And don't... He might come to us afterward, because we were allies. We'll take him in. Oh, they gave him the father. That was one of the feedback we gave. He starts having Lil Bay's faction during the pre-release, and it's, it's better that he joins him. Alright, with that said... We're gonna come here, we're gonna convert that. We'll heal on our vassal's land, no worries. I'm gonna keep Goja here in command for now. In case we get into a fight. Alright, no one impressive there. We have a level up. Definitely Flaming Shot, even though I know we talked about him being an administrator, but still, we're, we're there already. We're going to get that first. T, because we're trading with Liu Bei. Of course, we'll try to secure our own T in the future. We're going to convert that when we can. And right now, we're using too many builds. Um, Yeah, it's safe. We'll upgrade. It costs us some money, but maybe we'll do that last in case we have better builds. Oh. We'll take our version. There's two farmlands. Um, I don't know if we'll build garrisons here. It's just not efficient. I'm building this because I want extra deployment, uh, seasonal deployment. We don't need that. I guess we do have extra money. How are you guys doing? Yuantan coming back? No. Well, I think we're just gonna. I don't know. I don't know if they need any more help. No one likes them. Okay, they're not getting any more help then. Okay, I think we can end turn actually. They're not willing. Well, it's not going to be an alliance once we wipe out these two. And then we'll see what happens. Cloud Soaring Crane. What a name. What a name. Alright, let's continue. Okay, so we're getting attacked. We didn't see this army coming. Uh, came out of fog. This is Tianfeng's group with Jushu. The bow. I mean, it's impressive force against our... Uh, this is actually the farmland garrison. I think it's still open field because it's only rank 3, so we really can't win. Um, I'm going to save a little time. We'll let them win this. And we'll fight them later, of course. Yeah, that's too few. We could have done better than that, but... Eh, time. They are going for Shangdang's farmland. Go for it. Let them take this as well. I'm wondering, do they lose Imperial Intrigue at this point? I want to check their value. The Gate Pass is challenging us. In an offensive fight in the open field. Do they not realize we have Sao Holdun? We'll play fair. You know, we can win this. It's definitely doable. But there's. Uh, it just slow us down by a turn because we have to re siege. Yeah, but it's more fair. I guess I won't run the general after all of them. Alright, losing land all over the place. Oh, we got hit. This would be from the intrigue. He spin point to lower our point.
What? Why is it aborted? Why? How, how could it just be aborted? I paid for that, Emperor? Oh, he bounced above 50. So that's a thing. So we want to do it to people who are really low. That way they can't bounce it back. I mean, Liu Bei is trying, but like we have surpluses still at plus 7. Okay, so they wiped out Chen Dong's faction. Chen Dong is not in our pool. Maybe next turn, but maybe he went somewhere else. Alright. We need to move against them. What is this? Interesting choices. So they both went to Shandong together. Siege. Yeah, waste us a turn here. Yeah, we'll just sit here. Alright, who leveled up? Jashu. Good. Yeah, there's nothing I'm really worried about losing. I'm very happy to take this, because that's part of our mission. We're gonna grab that. We'll, tr we'll trade, you know, farmlands. Level 2 of theirs for a level 3, a uh, level 2 of ours for a level 3 of theirs. Um, I don't want Pyrrhic Victory. I'm gonna fight and cut it out. It's gonna be Guan Yu and Yu Jing going crazy on them. Uh, they also have a little bit of range. We can turtle that up. Yeah, it wouldn't be hard, but we'll see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Well, you took a little bit of damage, and we actually used our cavalry, but overall, pretty easy. Alright, half of that mission for Wei is done. We'll grab this one next. Um, this army is a little bit annoying because we have no spies in it. Uh, but aside from that, not too bad. Once they turn around, once we extract him. Speaking of extracting him, any chance for a military revolt next turn? Any chance for assassination this turn? Okay, so he's not willing to assassinate Dad. Oh, actually, we don't know. Right, we don't know yet. We'll find out next turn. He's a hundred point. All right, I'm think I'm looking at the air one. He is the air. Two new spies. Are they in armies? If they are in armies, I. Oh. I'll be interested. Okay, they're actually both in armies. Okay, I guess I'm more interested in her, I guess, because she's alone. Well, this army needs someone to betray them. Wang Ning Wan. Wait, she's Huang Zhu's daughter, isn't she? I think she is. Are you married to... Oh, wait, not through marriage, so I'm not sure. Very aggressive. Okay. We need siege weapons for that one. So we'll start recruiting. And I guess right now crossbow is what makes the most sense, so we'll get that. We'll flush this whole army out. Um, these cost 160. We're actually out of cash. Negative income all of a sudden because of all the recruiting. Mm, do we want all these? Hold on. Even if we want all these, we would have to utilize... General off the left. Eugene will be happier for getting that title. And I guess the essential army would just be this part. Does he have fire arrows? 
Well, he's actually really close to getting fire arrows. Maybe we test out archers. Going to experiment a little bit in the new patch. And the reason why we have no income, I figured it out. We talked about this. Gongdu launching that sneaky attack. So we have one of them back. One of them came off cooldown. Plus diplomatic relations with all factions. Three turns. Um, yeah, I think we always want this on. So the easiest thing to do here, since we can't reach them, right? Yeah, we can't reach them, but we can now break siege. Now income is fine. I can summon the army to attack them, and they should probably be able to reinforce. We can use the movement trick. Maybe it's time for Zhang Nao to come out. So I'm going to use Cheng Yu as the proxy. And then Zhang Nao as the actual summon. Alright, this way we exterminate him. Mm. Ooh, I kind of want to see Tiger in act. I want to see the units in action, actually. Yeah, we'll just fight this. We'll night battle. Oh, actually, we can't night battle because we want the reinforcement army. Uh, we'll fight this. I think we'll do better than Berg Victory here. Let's go. Alrighty, so we're loaded in here and clearly we're going to wait for reinforcement because this army is not getting anything done. And they're going to be healing, I believe. He has recovery. The chant's also super annoying. What else do they have? Ondul doesn't have recovery, right? Yes, but they have Oathwar mechanics going on too. So only one of them's recovering, and he's also the Oathorn. Hmm. Bummer. We have he we can we can win duels pretty easily. So if we can get a duel going, I have a lot of debuffs. Zhang Nao might not be the one. It might actually be Xiao Yuan. Kungdu doesn't want a duel. We'll start by killing him. And then him. Zhangba can help. Basically, Zhangba is going to have to help to win the duel. What does he have? Uh, 3.8. Hmm. A 50 morale hit? Pretty deadly. Hmm. <laughs> Current yellow turbans meet former yellow turbans, the Tingzhou Spearmen. Chano doesn't have tenacity of steel yet, so he's not going to be a good duelist. Abilities are okay. He's easier to kill, but then he'll give him a boost right away. It's better to route him than kill him. Nice. Uh. Or I can kill him really, really far away. Then the chance goes away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him challenge me. I'm gonna drag myself all the way over here, so the duel happens somewhere over here. Send him over. Yeah, basically the command will process first, so he will go to wherever I last clicked, and then they'll run at each other. So they'll probably meet somewhere here. Alright, they knocked us off. 
I'm not gonna use it yet until he needs help. I mean, the system says we'll win this, right? He has no offensive ability, he has an attack speed boost, he has a bronze weapon. We have a bronze weapon. Alright, give him the heal. Mainly the armor boost and the melee evasion boost for the next 15 seconds. Or 20 seconds. Wait, I think maybe the armor is only 10 seconds. 20 seconds? That was a quick 20 seconds. We should be able to use it one more time before the duel is over. We don't have a good weapon on him, that's why I kind of don't want to take this duel. But if he's willing to challenge me, I'll drag him over here and we can heal together. Challenge? I'm gonna have to use it before they get started. Come on, win this 20 seconds. Don't lose the next 45 and you're fine. There we go. He got the boost. It's okay. It's a fallen ally? Fallen friend? Fallen Oathworm? What is it? Fallen friend. Okay. Not too bad. 40% damage. Oh. Charge. Easy target. Erase him. Nope. I'm here just to be a burned officer. 95 speed. 94 speed with charge. We should be able to catch him. John, I'm going to trust you to handle this. Oh, uh, he's... How is he this fast? Alright, give up the pursuit. It's not worth it. He might not need much help. Oh, it's bronze weapon. All armor piercing? Alright, oh, it's a mace. Ooh, I might not be able to help him as much. Let's use it now so we can make sure we can use the second one too. Alright, I have a way. Because he's kind of out of it, right? We can't actually use him for much with this much health. Um, I mean, he does have the speed boost, 170 speed, because he's below half. Actually, we can use him to kill range, actually. We'll keep him. I was thinking I can make him do a duel, drag him out, and then, you know, run away and then kill him with my cavalry on the spot. We can still do that later, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm still worried about this duel though. This doesn't this might not go well. Just in case it doesn't go well. Alright, because we have 170 speed, it's time to go Sonic. Charge! No one can catch me. 
动作快点，赶快，赶快。I'm gonna have to boost him one last time soon. But I don't have any abilities to use, like no um, flame of the phoenix. That would help a lot. They put a flank guard. How smart! Don't lose your horse. Only charge here. Looks like John Al's winning without help. Good, they have run away from the main group. Alright. We're still gonna use it. Give him a heal. John Al definitely didn't disappoint. He has the roar. There we go. Gongbu is going to be mad again. I'm going to let John L mount. We could have, that was kind of the plan. We could draw him out like that. But given that he has 170 speed, I'm going to use him to just crash into the enemy over and over again. I'm gonna move all our generals up here. Nobody duels, please. Nobody. And cavalry can move up a little bit. Chanters. Ah, that's the one giving the buff. I didn't know they had one. Now you're not gonna have a chanter. No buff for your units. Don't lose your horse. You lost? I want to go Flame of the Phoenix this way. They have view of us. Pull back a little. Come roar. Alright, let's see if we can get him inside. Alright, this is this is fine. Smash it. There we go. Now charge of the chanters. Get in the middle. Wait, we didn't roar. That's that's Gongdu using his ability. Out. Oh, did he charge back in? He might have lost his mount. Okay, so in this case, we would do something like so. The only, oh, they oh, we mass routed them. That roar. He's gonna die though. So the way to keep him alive is to duel and then immediately run away. And he lives. Where's our guys? Our general's over chasing again. Okay. That roar went, went really, really well. So let's do that again. 30, 30 seconds. Okay. See a target. Nope, nope, nope. Not fighting you. Not fighting you. Pull back. That unit is routed. We haven't taken out the chanter yet. Just stay on him. We can roar again. Charge in here, just roar. Doesn't matter if you lose your mount. Try to get coverage. There we go, there we go. We got it.
All right, not too bad. All right, John had a little highlight there, a little duel. Two good roars. And we're going to take that item from him. We're going to recall him for the heal. We'll summon him back soon. Alright, their army is going to go south. Uh, there should be coasts clear. There should be a free take. Uh, look at the quiver, but no bow. We'll get it back for you. And we have finished the bold move. Population growth, public order, peasantry income, five turns. Uh, basically the capital is here. In Trun's capital, Loyang's capital. Also the farmland. A random farmland here. And uh, rule nine. I was hoping they have this forge. We're keeping it. Converting this. And Taiyang, who was the administrator of Wunan actually, historically. He died here though. Uh, Gongdu and Liu Bei killed him. And come here and help with construction for a little bit. Three more fights with Yuan Shao. Gongdu is almost gone, so we get another stack of Pathicore, a stronger version of population growth. Less income, but more public order. Actually, is it 10% right now? 20%. So it's less income, but more public order and more public uh, population growth. This is coming a defensive line. Okay, we're almost taking this. Increase morale in own territory, replenishment increase. A lot of good mission bonuses. Um... Just makes life a lot, a lot easier for us. Zhang Fei. Okay. We'll end our fight with a battle here in Donghai. Obviously a tough battle. Uh, we don't even have night battle, which would help a lot, actually. They're not full health. Um, we don't have any more schemes to use against them. What's that with the capture rates here? If we win, there will be a chance for us to capture Zhang Fei. At least there's no, you know, siege weapons on the wall. This doesn't help them. This also doesn't help them behind the wall. Uh, he needs to put this way back to shoot it over the wall. And then the range wouldn't even match our range, so it's kind of useless. Uh, we should be able to do this. Let's go. Alrighty. Donghai. The East Sea. Um, hmm. Wall design. This would be the weak point, I guess. Not a lot of towers take down. The interior design here is difficult to deal with, but then we don't have to go to that zone and we should be fine. Because if there's a tower here, it would make things a lot more difficult. This is fine. Like, just don't walk to here, don't walk to here, and we can just avoid that and go this way. Um, they have a full force. We're going to make their full force stand here so that we can do a lot of damage with these. We have 18 shot, no fire. No fire in this entire army, which is a disappointment. Makes life a lot more difficult. Uh, Guo Jia is actually not useful here in the siege. So what we're going to do is put him on... Uh, actually, no. We want everyone clustered here. I want everyone to be in that little corner so that we can maximize our damage with our misses. We're, we're going to miss. Level 7, we're still going to miss. Bomb away. Yeah, they're gonna have to condense most of their men here. We're gonna have to, we're gonna break all the walls. Twenty percent. See, we're gonna miss and we're gonna kill some stuff. We're probably gonna let Cao Cao continue to be the you know wannabe swordsman to duel Zhang Fei. You know we have Zhu to help us out win all these duels. The gate's not broken. They just oh it is oh wow two hits and the gate broke. We're missing low. 90%. Uh, it's actually quite wasteful to fire another full shot at it. 
I'm gonna hit this. Maybe we'll miss pretty badly, and who knows? I'm gonna pray. If not, we'll just have one machine take a shot instead of both. Let it fall. We have enough ammo. I don't have to shoot the tower first. Alright, since no one's on it, we're gonna hit this. We're gonna wait till they put some more units on it, and then we'll shoot it again. They have E-Archers. Okay. And the misses might get it. John Fei's willing to fight. As usual, let's go. Oh, actually no. The tower's not down yet. I'm not going to have Xu Chu stand there and get shot. This has been proven very difficult to take out, but we'll get there. Oh, well, they did very well after I told them it's proven very difficult to happen. So one shot there, one shot there, and we should be able to take both out. At most, one more shot here. Oh, that missed really badly. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're gonna let them all gather up. Do a shot there. Walk up. About seven more shots. Okay, we'll keep firing here. Uh, back up to maximum range. Oh, I want to watch this. Oh, so polite. No charge, just straight up. Get off the horse and fight. Oh. He knows he got defeated. He remembers that he dueled us and, and lost. We stuck the spear in his back last fight. I mean, these two fought a day and a night outside of Jamung Gate to a stalemate. And now he's just cheerleading for his health halt. So we're risking not seeing his health and not using his like ability. Let's just use the ability and then we just not look at the health and see what happens here. Gotta be confident we're fine. I mean, just visually, it looks like Jungfei is winning. Nope. Any chance Jae Yong wants to duel? I mean, Jae Yong would just die. I kind of want to kill that E Archer. They don't want to duel. Oh, 
We're here to absorb enemy archers. We routed the cav. Any chance we can get like a nice vertical shot right there? That would be amazing. Sort of. He's have one more shot left. I don't want to get shot. You guys did their job. Come back. You guys are probably next. Uh, they're here literally to absorb enemy fire. We can spread out a little. We're here to let the enemy archer just go wild. Use up all their ammo on us so that when our crossbow comes up, we can free fire on their um, spear units, I guess. Everything else is easy killing. You sure you don't want to duel us? We're really into dueling lately. See, there's a, you know, he's not firing as much as he should. I'm wondering if it's because, like, the units are walking by him that's getting, disrupting him. Too crowded, I think. That might be what happened to our crossbow units. Because they're, look at them, they're, they're going. 11 ammo left, 18 ammo left here, so he still has a long way to go. Who would want, we want to kill? We want to kill, I guess we don't care about people on the wall. This would be an easy target. We'll kill them first. But first they gotta finish shooting. Come on. Oh, the siege weapon's going. Oh, we're gonna take a lot of damage from that. Uh, let's see. Waiting for the big bolts to hit. I wanna see how accurate they are. And why they're going to adjust. Uh, not really accurate. They just missed right there. How much ammo does he have? Eight more shots. Okay. It doesn't kill us. The big bolt hit him and it didn't actually kill a single unit. That's fine then. Why is he so slow? He's almost done. Alright, we'll let them go through the motions here. Missile resistance just too strong. Yeah, we lost one guy. He's done. We lost another guy. Three. Like every two shot he kills one, I think. Well, the archers killed one in between, so I guess that counts. And sometimes they just miss. He's done. Okay, we're just waiting for the big crossbow to finish. Come on. One more. I'm gonna move them up. We don't have too much ammo on these guys. 23. It's not bad. A lot of cunning on Guojia and Burn buff as well. Alright, we want to kill spear units. Let's get going here. Yeah, fire rate's not great on crossbow, but damage is good.
This group looks very clustered. A lot of the arrows are gonna hit the, the rocks, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, it's still doing a number. Yeah, we still want to maximize our damage first. Still gonna be a tough fight once we get in. Call them one, call them like seven. All right, there's a gap for us. We're going in. I'm gonna ignore the generals. Don't forget, I have ability too. There we go. I'm not just a cheerleader. They have their back faced against us. Fire, fire, fire. I kind of want to let Miju live. But then again, he could be very annoying. Cooldown's back already. Uh, working with Salsal is such a good good thing. Cooldown 60 seconds becomes like 12 seconds. Yeah, watch his cooldown. All right, it'll go to 60. There's a 10 second duration. And then watch how it ticks down. You, see, you notice the big 5 second jump every 5 seconds? And basically, there's like a doubling effect. So it'll be back before you know it. And uh, we can use it very, very soon. I don't want them to go in because the people on the wall is going to come down. I'm going to shoot at them when they come down. Uh, I don't want to go to that zone, so we're going to hack this open. No, no, no. Come over here. Hack this. There we go. Take a little time. Hack it open. No rush. Dense up. Oh, they got... Oh, okay. Shoot. Uh, actually, let's just go back. They don't need to trade fire. There's no reason for them to actually trade fire. How sturdy is this? 57. Okay, it breaks pretty easily. Once this break, it's game over. So once we start pulling over here, they will all start moving and then we'll release the arrows. Move them up a little. They can go absorb those uh, last few shots there. Break, break, break. Wait, he stopped, he stopped hitting it. No, no, no. Barricade. Oh, there we go. The display was wrong then. Can't be one hit 57. Hello, archers. Now, what are E archers doing all the way here in the street province?
Oh, they put those guys in there. That's pretty smart, actually. They, they hurt generals quite a bit. Now let's use our charge. Let's not stall here. You want to debuff us? Feel free. And then we'll buff ourselves right back. Don't want to fight the spear. You want to fight us? Duel? Oh, let's go. Cheerleader time. Fire. If you leave the wall, we'll shoot you. Make sure we don't chase. Go Bosco! Go Bosco! I mean, if all goes well, we should be able to heal off of this fight due to how little damage we will take. One of them is about to be out of ammo. Future was like, my job is to stand here until boss is finished. Out of my way. It must cheer. Okay, Sutra having a little bit too much fun by himself. I mean, as long as he stands in the circle. This is the man who, you know, single-handedly hauled an uh, ox back with one arm. Alright, who else wants to leave the wall? Man, there's so many units. Um, I guess we come in. And we come in as well. See, now they leave the wall. But we got speed. We're just going to keep moving. And as they leave the wall, we'll start shooting. I'll pull away from them. Oh, execution move. Finish it. Cooldown's even back on this. Step on the base flag, that's right. He also boosts his evasion. Armor or evasion? I think it's armor. No, evasion. 50% evasion. You two, you two fire that one. You and you stop moving. Oh, our cavalry is getting shot. Oh, what? No, we moved them too far in. That's not happening because all the. Oh, they did get trapped. Mm. We didn't get to see it, but there, there's a there's a pressing issue here. No, it's like one unit get trapped and they can't move out. Boss! Boss, this is not the smart fight. Let me take care of it for you. Clear path. I think Sotho did heal. Oh, okay. We'll go stop those archers. Oh, 
You can chase now. Come on. Okay, we're gonna stop all the archers. We're gonna lose interest once I step on the plaza. Especially you guys. Go forward. Go put in a couple arrows on them. Which was like, boss, you're going too fast. Can't keep you protected. Uh, they're just in trouble, aren't they? I can't get them to safety. Oh, the Qingzhou units are lighting things on fire. Right, they have the radar trait. They can light the whole city on fire if we just park them here. That will reduce enemy morale. We lost a unit there. A bit unfortunate. I forgot Tingle unit got the, the raider trait. So as they walk around, they'll just set fire. And that'll cause like an extra morale damage with settlement loss. Alright, archers back, gonna kill them. Yeah, let it all up, let it all up. Just stand on the street. Stand here. Stand here. Go fight them. Are you guys in? You gotta shoot them. They're not facing the right way. Oh, you got dropped. Oh, it's a different move completely when he does it on the ground. Okay. Don't worry, Tao I'm here. I can still protect you on foot. Alright, they routed. We did it. The fire definitely helped. Now the question is, did we capture Zhang Fei? 14 points. No, we didn't capture him. Well, we'll probably keep this, just because his tax collection building is insane. Um, level 2, but it's just so good. I, I can't really get rid of it. Uh, but we'll come back and we'll pick things up from here. Uh, actually, the most likely scenario is we'll actually go and create another vassal here in Donghai, most likely. Yeah, that's probably what will happen. They're not gone. But I can't trade territory to a, fact, to a territory list faction, so I can't keep him alive. That's why he's not in our recruitment pool, because he's not gone. Well, nobody's going to be gone soon. Uh, that's our goal. We have to level up to rank 7, which means we should see the Northern Army show up maybe in the next episode. One more tool for us to conquer the rest of China. Um, as for the North, once this battle ends, uh, probably next turn, we'll be able to you know, send our full force at Yuan Shao and uh, push him into a piece. Or depends on when we can get the assassination. Next turn seems to be the solution. Uh, we'll see what happens then, see if we're willing to have the son turn the knife on the father and we'll set up a civil war, maybe that, that would be the cause and maybe we can see Yuan Tan and Yuan Shang fight a little as well, just for historical accuracies. Uh, speaking of historical accuracy, Chen Deng you know, was able to defend Guangling from Sun Ce twice, historically, 
but uh, he has fallen here in game because you know Sunso is a little bit too strong. And uh, we'll pick things up from here as we'll continue to wipe out Liu Bei and Gongdu and finish up our war with Yuan Shao in the north. So until next time, bye!